so good to be Sally again. I don't know, man. I'm just like, whoa! Subscribe to the channel as we sail our new girl around the world. After 72 days on the hard stand and three long months on the island of Langkawi, Nanji is ready to sail again. We head north exploring along the way to Thailand and the island of Phuket to get more supplies and finalise some tasks before we head off to Indonesia and the Indian Ocean. Anchored in Chelong, we hire a scooter and start our daily missions. <laughs> this scooter is the biggest piece of... <laughs> Damn it! This is the third time we've had to kick start this uh, thing today. It's a piece of crap. Alright, let's go to the surf shop. It's not often I get to go surfboard shopping. Oh. Today's the day. Hello, how are you? I haven't had a new board for a couple of years now, so I'm kind of getting swallowed up in choices. I need to get a step up because I'm expecting to surf a lot of round, hollow waves with decent size. I surf generally a 6.0, about 27 litres. Boards these days, you know, they get shorter and fatter and wider. It's just different, you know, it's too many You've got choices. all these new things like carbon fibre. Yeah, <laughs> Luke Short Designs, never heard of him. Oh my god. <laughs> we gotta take this piece of shit back. <laughs> Back in 2017, before Nanji departed Australia, we installed two flexible solar panels onto our Bimini. So we went down to Core Sales and, and Aaron let us use his sewing machines there and Benita stitched these two panels on. And because we liked them so much, they've given us heaps of power, we want to put a third one on. These two panels are the SR160 range by Solbian, so they're monocrystalline cell and they're 160 watts each. We've been really stoked with them and because now that we've got two fridges, we're gonna have maximum power, so we wanna get heaps more power. So we thought there's a perfect position for one more panel in the middle, so we're gonna get another panel stitched on in the middle. But to be able to do that, we need to take it down to an actual sail maker and pay someone to sew it on. This time we're using a new technology by Solbian. It's the SXX series. So the technology is a little bit different. So rather than using monocrystalline cells like in the SR series, this new SXX series, which uh, we, we crash test dummies for it basically, but they're now using a hetero junction cell which basically means more power in the same amount of area. So this panel is 180 watts that we're, going to be, that we're going to be stitching on. When we first put the two panels on, we put them on either side of the boom because we thought the boom would create too much shadow. And you, you might think that, oh, the boom's going to be in the middle so that panel's not going to get any sort of sunlight. But when we were at anchor, we put the boom out to the side and then we've noticed that when we're sailing, we're always got a shadow on one side or the other anyway. So one panel is basically always being covered unless we're like sailing dead downwind, then the booms right out to the side and all panels are open to the sky. So each panel is wired in separately through its own charge controller. If two panels are wired into the same charge controller and one panel is getting shadow, then it's going to affect the input from the other panel. So by wiring them up in, with each individual panel, with each individual charge controller, then if one panel's in shade, it's not gonna affect the input from the other two panels. So we'll rip this bimini off and we'll take it down to the sail makers and we'll go get it stitched on. Just putting up this tarp to keep the boat cool while the uh, bimini's away. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Is that duct tape you're using? Yes. Bit of tape fixes everything. They said they're quite busy and it should take a few days to do, so. Ah. Needing to wait a week for the panel to be sewn onto the bimini, we kept ourselves busy finalising jobs on Nanji and finishing off our bow rebuild by laying down the new Kiwi grip. The key thing about this Kiwi grip is how thick you lay it down. You use this roller and that's what makes this texture like this. Last time we, we laid it pretty heavy and pretty thick and we used like a, like a paver, uh, like a grouting tool and so we splashed it all around and then we laid it out at like three mil sort of deal. But um, it took quite a while to dry. It took like two days really to properly set and be really hard. So 
I'll still try to get the same texture this time around so it's matching and looks the same but just going to use a, a, uh, a wax comb <laughs> so I'll splash it around then I'll, I'll grout it around with this here and that should leave a pretty consistent layer use a spoon sorry Benita this is one of our spoons from my drawer splash it around a bit few obstacles there, Bon. Yep, and get around everything. You really got to peel the tape off when it's wet. That's the big key thing. So you get that nice straight edge and you don't tear the paint because it sets really hard and it becomes one big piece. And if you, you let the paint dry on the tape, you can really tear the whole paint. Okay, it's going to let some deep work. With the monotony of boat jobs steadily getting ticked off the list, it is time the big kids went out to play. We are in Thailand after all. We donned on our best clothes and took the hog out for a burn. Don't want to kill anyone. You can hold your arm out to the side with an extra long pole where everyone's scootering around. <laughs> I love Thailand. Woo! I love Thailand. I left group bones, baby. Strike a pose. Give it a Chicken? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you have chicken. Alright, looks alright. Pretty cheap. It took like two minutes to make. It took like two minutes. They must have this big old bowl out there, bag. We have responsibilities. We have a uh, a whippet to look after, so it's always an early night for us. We've only been here for a few hours, and that's long enough for him. So yeah, we're gonna head home now. We are still here in Thailand getting things done today. We're just trying to get everything all the loose ends tied up and yeah provision and um, just Honestly, we're just trying to see how far our money's gonna stretch uh, <laughs> no, look. Once we leave here, we don't need to buy anything Well, there's no way we're gonna be able to buy anything for weeks on end because we'll be living the island life And we're in the middle of nowhere. So. Yeah, so we're just getting as much as we can while we can get it yeah. while we have the resources because Thailand has everything, Indonesia has nothing. Especially so, where we go. Yeah, so nothing. we're trying to get things like computer cables. Get the iPads, screen get, fixed. Get the camera cleaned, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. We're off to the post office to send out a heap of stuff to patrons. Yeah, Woo! we got this whole bag here is full of envelopes for our patrons. So thank you guys so much. Phew! Presents in the mail. These little parcels are going all around the world. So Finland, Belgium, England, United Arab Emirates, um, Norway, New Zealand. We have one in Cyprus, Australia, and the United States. And Canada. One Cyprus. Okay. Good boy. This is our little daily spot. We take Marley for a run here twice a day first thing in the morning and uh, we go and do some stuff and then we come back and take him for another run and it uh, keeps him pretty happy. He's got this stick so like you can always tell a yachty's got a dog when they carry a stick around in their tender. <laughs> this is Molly's favourite, he loves this thing. <laughs> Where's his stick? He loves sniffing around. Molly's a hound dog so he loves to smell everything and so when we get to go to new beaches, he, he loves that he gets new smells and he'll just let his nose take him for a wander. Ready? Good boy! clouds behind me. The monsoon season has started here. We were trying to leave before it did, 
but we're running late with the season as always so we're going to have a little bit of a wild sail for maybe 200 nautical miles as we get around the top of Sumatra and then we should have uh, smooth sailing after that. Ah, I'm going to be bashing into it for a few days but you get that sometimes. Marley doesn't play with toys or anything artificial, nothing plastic. He won't chase anything plastic. Marley's all about the natural things. So the coconuts, the sticks, he's a real sticking coconut boy, which is easy because they're everywhere. Ruined. He's trying to lie down and he just has to squeeze his way right in there. Hey, buddy. We're down here at Macro to do a little bit of provisioning. All the yachties said that this is the place to go. So here we are. Let's see what uh, all the fuss is about. Everything's individually wrapped in plastic here. Come on, guys. You can do better than this. This is okay, like it wasn't the best place that I've ever been to, but it's alright. Like they sell things in bulk which makes it easier. Um, the hard part now is trying to get everything on the scooter and to get it back to the boat. You've just got two bags in there. It's like carrying a third person, like that grandpa bag is chock a block full of cans and food. I don't know how we're gonna do it. boxes and we've done everything we need to do. Josh has got a fishing rod. Hell yeah. Um, so basically we just got to take our feet off of Thailand. <laughs> Last foots off of Thailand. We're clear now. We're, we're we've clear. got everything. we got the toys for the boys. we got play times for days. Last footstep on Thailand land. Thailand land. Yeah. So I see what you did there. That was pretty funny. How's it feel? Bloody awesome. Goodbye Thailand! Goodbye Thailand! Just like that, we're out of Thailand. Got a, a full Genoa and a reef main. We're just gonna get learn how to sail again, I suppose. It'll be an upwind passage this whole time, so we've kind of beaten two already. Uh, we just get used to life on the lane. Settle in, eh, Marley man? Hey, buddy. It feels so good to be sailing again. We've got the wind on the beam, forward of the beam. <laughs> we got the main up, the head sail up. We're scooting along at a, at a steady five knots. Um, that top is making a big difference and it just feels so good to have the wind on our cheeks again and oh, it feels amazing. I don't know man, I'm just like, woo! Woo! Thanks for watching another episode of Sailing Nanji. Yeah, provisioning on a scooter, not recommended. <laughs> it's pretty fun, but not very effective. <laughs> <laughs> Our next couple of episodes are probably going to be a little bit skew if, as long story short, 
We lost the last two months' footage on a hard drive. Well, we're, we're in the process of recovering it. We have to send the hard drive away to recover the data, so uh, it's going to be a little wait until you get to see what we've been doing around this uh, side of Indonesia, but it's going to be well worth the wait. We've had some hell adventures. And so. our big sail across the Malacca. Yeah. So yeah. that was our real shakedown, test down of offshore with the new boat, pretty much. So. Yeah. Yeah. Stay, stay tuned for those ones. So they'll, they'll be coming up. We'll still have videos coming out, so stay tuned. But uh, there'll yeah. be no coming up next in this one because we don't know what's coming up next. Who knows? We are doing a video very soon on Mali. So if you have any questions about Mali, what it's like having a dog on a boat, uh, anything to do with Mali, I uh, will be gladly to uh, answer those questions in the video. All right. As always, we want to say a big thank you to the newest patrons that have got on board Sailing Nanji and helping us to, to support this channel. So thank you very much to the following. We have Eric, Michael, Brian, Jim, Goat. Christoph, Georges, Ken and Jordan, thank you very much for joining in uh, on the Sailing Nanji family. Cheers, legends. Yep. That's about it. We'll uh, see you in the next episode of Who Knows What's Going On. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> Mystery episode. Woo! Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. But don't you sweat your pretty skin, cause it melts away for it sinks in. And you dream about this very night, when the moon runs down the summer sky. Could it be the morning of the spring?